what up what up and welcome back to bossy behavior <laughs> i just love my intro i don't know i'm a weirdo though anyways <laughs> i posted on instagram if you don't follow me there it's at bossy dot behavior yeah i had to put a dot in it someone else used it already but they're not doing anything with the page does anybody get tired of that i'm tired of it like instagram it's been six years they haven't posted anything bro <laughs> figure this out okay but anyways I had um a poll in my stories well it wasn't a poll it was a question box a little question box and so I want to answer some of you guys' questions but I'm going to do it in pieces bite size you know so you don't have to watch a super long video unless you guys like that I did see that you guys like make it ready with me but I need to know what you like so even on this video comment down below because I'm here to serve you it's not about me right all right so one of the most questions that I got, that's probably not the right way to say that, was what made you call yourself Bossy Behavior or why is your name Bossy Behavior or how did you come up with your handle? I thought that was super cute. Um, and I just never really explained it online to be honest. So <laughs> Bossy Behavior actually came from a random event that I did, I think in like 2018. Um, I was throwing like these $10 events where people were meeting me in um, a village nearby like it's a downtown area coffee shop sponsored me to be there and so I met with like small groups of people helping them start their business or like teaching them how to get online social um, activity things like that social media accounts engagement all that kind of stuff but um, I think at the time my Instagram was Liz Sweet Liz because if you've been on this channel long enough you know that I used to be Lizzie P Beauty and if you've been here way way before that it used to be AO Mixed Girl which emissions of a mixed girl it's always kind of been off of a blog that I did so at the time Liz Sweet Liz was just so different than all of my other channels and I was like well I kind of like the name Bossy Behavior like I like the event it's cool and then I ended up doing that but Honestly, it does have a little bit of a deeper meaning to me. I um, really deal in behaviors of entrepreneurs. And I think it took me some time to figure that out. Like, I'm not really teaching you too much about your business. I do do tutorials. I do know the business side of things. But ultimately, I get down to the soul and spirit of why you do what you do or why you're not posting or what can you do to encourage your spirit like what you need to do to push past rejection and fears and doubts and so I'm more like the coach for the inside of you and the inside of your business identity versus the outside and so the behavior part is like what I'm really really interested in and I also show you my journey on bossy behavior of what I have done what I'm currently doing and what I hope to do in the future and so yeah that may be like a lot in one channel for people and they maybe just want tutorials or whatever it is but for me that's bossy behavior right the bossy part is just because like I'm kind of girly <laughs> I'm really girly though <laughs> I always have been sis loves a nail a face beat a hair done which is not what you're getting today but <laughs> Yeah, so it just has to be like cute to me at some, at some points, but the behavior part really means a lot. Um, so I hope that explains to some of you that were like, well, where did you come up with this from? It was an accident. <laughs> All right. Some of the other questions was how old am I? I'm 34 years old. I turned 34 in March, March 25th to be exact. I am fiery <laughs> and I had my quarantine birthday, <laughs> which was not great, but I'm still alive and I have so much more to look forward to. Uh, a couple other people asked me, single or kids, am I hiding a family? <laughs> I am not hiding a family. <laughs> I am single, single. Um, and that's why I have my Single Zero Club channel. <laughs> um, actually, it's not a channel in here yet because it's YouTube or IGTV. Uh, but it is on Instagram and is a blog. So <laughs> there will be a playlist on this channel for it child i'm not doing a whole nother channel for it okay that's just what it is <laughs> people ask me uh when i went back to school i went back to school at 30 uh i went to a school tony and guy it's a really cool company you should check it out 
um, I've had a really advanced training in cosmetology. I am a color specialist. That would be my regular day job, I would say. But for a long time, I just did this. And it was a lot of fun. So, <laughs> But I love doing hair. I miss it dearly. It's driving me crazy. But I can't have it. People ask me, uh, how much weight have you actually lost? So, um, during quarantine, I've lost like probably 15 more pounds. But last time I checked, it was like 125. I got to a really, 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 really overweight amount um, at some points because of medication and for my lungs. Um, combination of like drinking as well and overeating and just being in a very, very, very stressed out state. So once I dropped all of that, I was able to drop weight, um, combination of gym and eating proportionally slash healthy slash still having my ice cream um, and Coca-Cola. So, I mean, I have one sitting right here. <laughs> mm. I don't know, but I just don't overdo any of those things anymore. My favorite, favorite activity to do with a group of people is karaoke. I love it. Um, I also have been singing my whole life. And I love to sing Disney songs too. <laughs> um, so I was on FaceTime with my <laughs> friends and one of their daughters was, you know, talking about Frozen. I was like, oh, Frozen, right? Some things never change. <laughs> <laughs> like the feel of your hand in mine some things stay the same like how we get along just fine <laughs> so, and she was like yeah like <laughs> she's like Lizzie she loves you I'm like I'm singing Frozen <laughs> so yeah I mean that's not, I'm not like a super Disney person but I do love I just love musicals um my favorite movie is Funny Girl. It was created before I was born. It is with Barbara Streisand and it is just, I don't know why I love it so bad. I just love it. I love it so bad. <laughs> I don't know. You would have to see it. It, it is an epic musical. Um, it's where the song Don't Rain On My Parade comes from. If you've never heard it, no judgment. It was made a long time before we were born uh, most of us <laughs> but yeah I just freaking love it and I, I don't ever think that anything's gonna top it besides the godfather that's my second choice I just have always wanted a Michael Corleone in my life you know thug life <laughs> yeah I don't know why people ask me these questions I'm so weird <laughs> um I didn't write these down I probably should have <laughs> See, that's why I'm not professional at these things. I just like to talk to you guys. This is what it would be like if you were sitting across from me at the table. Oh, someone asked what I was mixed with. I am Black, Native American, and a whole bunch of other things, okay? Because once you do the little DNA test, you find out all these little different markers. But yes, this is why I don't speak Spanish. Um, someone asked me if I speak Spanish or any other language. I do not, but parlez-vous français, mais oui. <laughs> uh, mais amo... No, that's not how you say it. I think that's the French Spanish part. Uh, I just want to really, I want a Parisian flat, okay? I took French in uh, high school. Now, the weird thing about it is that there are some things I can still read in French. Like, it still stayed up here. I just can't speak it. So, I think if I'm immersed in their culture, I would get it like that. I want to have, like, a little Parisian flat that I can go to, create, you know, and... Um, I also have a fashion design thing I went to in junior college and our community college and you know I know how to do mock-ups and things like so I'm just really in that creative thing maybe one day I'll start designing clothes I don't know I think it seemed a little bit unreachable for me at the time but I know how to sew too and so I'm, I just my desire to be in Paris <laughs> I kept saying this is the year I was gonna go live in Paris for like six months to a year you know I do that I hop on planes i stay in places I move places I'm I'm just I'm a free person <laughs> yeah so I think that's it for this time but if you have any more questions comment down below if you want to get to know me a little bit better I have tons of stories for you ciao if I ain't anything I'm a storyteller okay <laughs> but yeah I do have more questions and I do want some more so we can get to know each other you know in depth <laughs> <laughs> All right, until next time, doodles. <laughs>